In this video, we're going to continue to talk about what's new in Captivate 9. Yes, that's right, I said Captivate 9. In this particular video, we're going to focus on the, new, on the brand new effects panel. Big improvement over previous versions of Captivate. In Captivate 8, if I wanted to do effects uh, on the objects that I had on my screen, I had to do them one by one, and to preview them, I could do a live preview of just one object at a time, or if I wanted to see the entire slide, I either had to publish my course or run a preview for the next five slides or something more cumbersome than just taking a look at the timeline. Of course, now they've really greatly improved this. They've totally changed it. It's probably one of the biggest changes in Captivate 9 is the improvement to the effects panel. Some people might disagree with me on that. Uh, people who don't use a lot of effects probably don't see it as a big deal. But for me, I like to animate a lot of stuff. I want my courses to look interactive. I want them to feel like you're watching a movie. And of course, if you're just looking at a bunch of static objects on screen, it's a little boring. So I like to spice things up a little bit. So it's real simple to do. If you wanted to apply an effect uh, to an object on your screen, you select that object and you can do one of several things. You can uh, right click on the object and go all the way to the bottom here and apply effect. You could also make sure that the timeline or sorry the timing properties is open and that will show up over here and uh, but we'll show you the right click. It's really straightforward. Both of them achieve the same result. So if I apply an effect to this guy here it brings up my timing window and because effects are very much bound to the time or to the timeline they're going to affect the timing panel but you'll also see an impact on the timeline as well uh, and again it's a it's a real positive improvement over how this was done in the past so let's uh, let's add some effects to these objects that I have on screen I'm gonna start off with um, choosing a, uh, a general category of effect. Uh, entrance is probably the, the first effect that you're going to want to apply to any object and that's simply uh, how is this coming into view? How is this coming onto your screen? So I'm going to choose uh, an entrance effect. Now watch carefully here. I'm going to hover over these various effects that are available to me but take a look at the object itself. You're going to get a live preview of what these effects will look like. And that's a big improvement over previous versions of Captivate as well. You get to see exactly what you're working with here. So I'm going to choose an ease in from right because this is on the left hand side of the page and there's other objects to consider as well. And that's fantastic. Uh, now if I wanted to add another effect of course I can do so by clicking on the plus button next to the applied effects list. So let's do that here. We'll add in a, oh I'm not sure what we'll do here. We'll uh, skew to uh, a, an interesting shape let's say. So we'll choose that here and um, we'll make it a subtle skew by adjusting some of the adjustments. Each effect of course has its own unique uh, adjustments down here and you can adjust that accordingly so we can see what effect that a skew skewing the X um, scale by 10 uh, will do now take a look here of course let's select the object again take a look at the timeline it's actually showing the effects on the screen here so I can actually change the timing of when these occur just by dragging across and what's great about this timeline effect is that you can see how the different effects relate to one another when they occur in relation to one another. That's again a big improvement over the previous uh, versions of Captivate. You had to basically publish or do a full preview to see multiple effects happening at the same time. Uh, so I'm pretty happy with that. Let's just preview right from the timeline and this will show you both effects at the same time here. 
So I have it ease in and then skew at the end there just to be different. Um, let's press stop here. So that does uh, a great thing as well. Now I have multiple items um, that are sort of grouped together but I haven't actually grouped them together. In the past Adobe Captivate 8 and 7 and 6 and so on if I wanted to animate let's say we'll use this guy here as an example I've got an image and let's just uh, zoom in at like 150 percent so I have um, six copies of an image of an airplane plus this blue box with some text on it if I wanted to apply effects for those and you can see them on my timeline right there I would have to do them one by one not so with Captivate 9 in fact it's so easy that it's not even something uh, that's even a, a remotely a big deal anymore all I do is I select all of the objects in question and I group them together into one single object and unlike previous versions of Captivate I can now apply a single effect so let's do an entrance effect and we'll have this ease in top which means it's coming from the bottom so essentially I'm doing uh, six times the job of uh, of a single object animation uh, in one single job here just by grouping them together really saves a lot of time um, so and, and this applies even here let's just do a couple more on the screen here we'll just make sure that we uh, group these guys together sorry I just lost my location on the screen there we'll group those ones we'll group these guys here and I'll group this one here with the globe and the reference to uh, international there so again I can apply effects to this uh, this slide really quickly I'm gonna do a little zoom effect there um, actually yeah that's that's kind of interesting and uh, you know initial zoom let's say 50 percent initial zoom y 50 percent and we'll just make this 100 here so that it keeps itself configured properly uh, we'll have an entrance effect maybe I'll ease in left on that one there and for this guy here we'll have uh, an entrance where it flies in from the bottom real quick so again all this stuff is visible on your uh, timeline now if you do have objects grouped you should just um, open them up so that you can see all of the objects that make up those effects and then you have control over uh, how long these effects actually occur so and again this applies to the entire group so we'll just do some real short fast effects here to show the different objects as they're coming in and that looks pretty good there so let's do uh, a preview of this slide and rather than previewing the whole thing again I can just play it from my timeline here and see all the effects one after the other as they come in one by one. Oh, I forgot to add some animation to that one there but I think you get the idea some of the other things that are available is uh, in Captivate 9 there's an introduction um, to uh, there's an introduction to, of three new custom motion paths you've got custom curves custom lines and custom scribble and let me show you how those work uh, first of all, off, I should point out that all three of these new custom motion paths are available for responsive design projects as well. So any changes that you make to those paths across your various breakpoints will scale down, of course, to all the smaller breakpoints. So you can make custom paths for a tablet, let's say, and that, that shorter or smaller path would scale down to the phone view as well. So let's do something interesting here uh, to show this off. We'll actually do something that uh, that's new to Captivate 9 and that's the ability to trigger an effect using a button here. So I've got a start button here. I've got this uh, you know passenger's baggage 
and I got an airplane. So we want to get the baggage to the airplane here and we're going to use the start button to do this. So under the properties panel, um, under actions, you can choose um, apply effect and we're going to choose uh, image 11 which happens to be this guy here, yeah. So image 11 and we're going to press the animation palette here and we can choose of course um, motion paths and we'll do a custom curve for starters show you what that's like here this uses uh, essentially um, uh, a bezier curve so I can start by clicking there and clicking my second point you can see the curve is being added and the second curve and I'm just gonna double click now that I'm at the center of the airplane here and that's the motion path Again, if I hover over this, I can see the full motion there. So that'll work right off of the start button. So let's just do a preview of the next five slides and test that out. This way you can have animation occur on screen that your users are in a little bit more control over. Perfect. It's kind of a large piece of luggage to go on that airplane, but that's okay. So I'm going to actually go to the start button here, and uh, we're going to get rid of that. Uh, we're just going to say no action, and I'm going to show you the other two custom motion paths uh, just on their own, not triggered by the uh, start button here. So we're going to go to the timing panel, and we're going to go to the motion path here, and custom scribble is kind of cool. Let's show you that one for starters. Again, do your first click and then just start. Uh, oh, let me do that again. So, custom scribble. And it literally is draw just like you were. You know, back in kindergarten, you can draw any old path that you want. That's it. There you go. It's crazy. Let me just hold the mouse over the custom scribble. Uh, there, you can see it's just taking it on a journey all over the place there. So that's available to you as well. You can totally come up with any path you want with one of these uh, these three custom paths that are available to you. The last one of course is custom lines and lines can be as simple as a straight line um, but also think uh, custom lines are great for zigzags as well. So if I click my first click there, second click, you know it could be a lot of different things uh, leading to the eventuality of getting your baggage to the airplane. So there it is and let's uh, do a preview of that. So again, uh, whatever you can imagine between those three, um, you certainly have uh, all of the different uh, uh, motion paths that are available to you. And as I mentioned before, these three paths are available for responsive design projects as well. And uh, that's pretty much it for effects. Uh, again, the really big improvement over the last version, uh, actually over all the previous versions of Captivate, I'm really excited to, to start using this on my projects. Guys, if you like the videos that I'm producing, uh, go ahead and uh, subscribe to my channel. And if you thought this video in particular was good, please give me a thumbs up.